today I want to share with you the point of this whole entire first message of the series, and it's this. The sun slash sun wants to do a destructive and healing work in all of us called fusion. That's what he wants. Fusion. Jesus himself, the sun slash sun of righteousness, is a picture in and of himself of that. For those of you who don't know, God is not just the Father. It's not just the Son. It's not just the Holy Spirit. It's all three. One entity. It's a picture of fusion, of great power. These illustrations are built into all the things that God has made, and he wants us to know that these things are truth. And Jesus, the Son of God, the Son of righteousness, definitely wants to perform a healing as well as a destructive work inside of every single one of us. And the Apostle Paul spoke on this at great length. What God wants is a personal fusion with every single one of us, where we become one with him. And what he also wants is a fusion amongst all of us as a church together, a group of people joining forces and working together as one, because God knows that when that kind of thing happens, when multiple people join together to become one, the picture and the illustration is, is that it becomes powerful, very powerful. It creates light. It creates heat. It creates energy. It's what sustains life. And that's what God wants not only from his son, slash illustrated by the son, but now he puts his son into us so that we become light, life, and energy, and heat for those who are around us. It starts with personal fusion, and it goes from there to corporate fusion. The Apostle Paul again spoke about this. I'm going to read this to you. It's in Philippians chapter 3, verses 1 through 9. This is what he says. Whatever happens, my dear brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. I never get tired of telling you these things, and I do it to safeguard your faith. Watch out for those dogs, those people who do evil, those mutilators who say you must be circumcised to be saved. For we who worship by the Spirit of God are the ones who are truly circumcised. We rely on what Christ Jesus has done for us. We put no confidence in human effort, though I could have confidence in my own effort if, I, if anyone could. Indeed, if others have reason for confidence in their own efforts, I have even more. Now he starts speaking about personal fusion. I was circumcised when I was eight days old. I am pure blood citizen of Israel and am a member of the tribe of Benjamin, a real Hebrew, if there ever was one. I was a member of the Pharisees who demand the strictest obedience to the Jewish law. I was so zealous that I harshly persecuted the church. And as for righteousness, I obeyed the law without fault. I once thought all these things were so valuable, but now I consider them to be worthless because of what Christ has done. Yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ, my G, or Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have discarded everything else, counting it all as garbage, so that I could gain Christ and become one with him. Personal fusion. I no longer count on my own righteousness through obeying the law. Rather, I become righteous through faith in Christ. For God's way of making us right with himself depends on faith. See, Paul got to a place similar to what God wants all of us to come to, is where we look at all of the things that used to define our value and make us happy and important, and come to a place where we look at the destruction of all of that as being healing. And now where our identity is found is no longer in what our American dream was, but instead it's in finding out what it is that God has intentionally designed for us before the foundation of the earth was ever put into place, that his plan is better. That's what Paul was talking about. All the things that he thought were once important to him, he looks at now as garbage. Why? Because of personal fusion with Jesus Christ and understanding that it's all about him. Understanding that it's really all about God's plan and what it is that God wanted for him. But it's also corporate fusion that he wants, where you and I come to a place where we recognize that it's not just about us and this church, it's about the church. It's about the kingdom and cause of Jesus Christ, and what it is that he has done is invited us into that cause with a plan that's been specifically designed for all of us, but as individuals as well.